Hi there. In a previous video, we added this active job class, which updates an external SKU application. However, we didn't get around to testing it. In terms of testing, we can do that in two places. Firstly, Rails generated an update SKU job spec when we originally created the active job class. Here we can add uh, tests for the internals of update SKU job. The other place we should test it is in the controller. If you remember, we are calling this uh, active job class from the create action. And we should add an assertion that this actually gets called from the controller. First, let's jump into the update SKU job spec and we'll write the active job specific test first. So we already have the outermost describe block. We're describing the class and the spec is a type job. So I'll keep it really simple and just have an it block and we'll say it calls SKU service with correct params. And inside there to call it, I can do described class, which is referencing this, the class that the test is, is describing. And I can say perform now, which is, uh, well, a similar thing to what we're doing in the controller, um, except as we're running it in the test, we want to perform it synchronously. And if you remember the way that this job works is that we pass in a single string, which is the book name. So I'll just say eloquent Ruby. So if I run this now, even though we don't have any assertions, is actually going to call the active job class and well we'll see if there are any er any uh, errors okay so we get an error uninitialized constant net http so we're calling net http here but we're not requiring it Oh, so I think this has uncovered a bug in that we originally wrote the um, external HTTP call logic inside the controller. So we included net HTTP here, but when we moved it to an active job, we forgot to move this require. So I'll move that now and dump it up at the top of the active job class. So now if I rerun this test, now the uh, original error has been fixed. Now we have another one which says failed to connect to localhost 4567, which makes sense because the um, external service that I was running on localhost 4567 is not running. So to fix that, we need to uh, mock it out in the test setup. To do that, I need to set up a stub on net HTTP dot start. So basically, if I stub that out, it means that the request won't get made. So what I'll do is allow uh, net, H net HTTP to receive, start, and return true. There we go, so now we're getting a green test. We're not actually testing anything at the moment, but what is happening is we're calling the active job class, passing in the params, all of this logic is getting called, and then we're mocking this out 
So it's not really making the external call. This is just returning true. So now what we want to do is assert that the correct params are being used. And what we can do for that is make an assertion on this request body setter, class, setter uh, method here. So we'll add an expectation, expect, and we need to run the expectation on something. So you can see that this request.body is being called on request, which is set on line eight. And that is an instance of net HTTP post. So what I can say is expect any instance expect an instance of net HTTP, net HTTP post to receive uh, body equals. So we're expecting any instance of this to receive body equals um, with and this is getting this params hash converted into JSON. So we need to call it with this eloquent Ruby string and I'll move that up into a let. So this will be book name and I'll use that here. So what we're saying is that when we call perform now with this uh, let variable up here, which is eloquent Ruby, then it should be passed into the body of the net HTTP call. And that's asserted here. So let's run this test. There we go. So if I was to change this, and hard code it to something which is which is wrong, which is not using the params, we should get a failing test. There we go. Let's turn that back. Make sure it still passes. So now we've tested the internals of this active job class. And the test is not perfect, but it's pretty good for now, I think. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to move this allow into a before block because we'll probably want to do that for every test that we add to this uh, test file. So yeah, this test I think is okay for now. The next thing we want to do is make sure that uh, this active job class is actually getting called because if I comment that out for now and I run the whole test suite, everything passes even though application would be broken because the active job class is not getting called. So I'll open the book controller spec and you can see we have this test in the books controller. So let's first wrap this in a describe block and this should be get uh, index. And then we'll add another describe block for post create because this is the test. This is what we want to test to assert that update SKU job gets called. So, oh, and then we'll have an it's block and we'll say it calls update. Uh, let's just copy this. Update SKU job uh, with correct params. So similar, similar to the other test. And to call it, so we do a post to create with some params. And in this case, we need to do um, author. In fact, I'm going to put this on another line. 
we need to do author and book. So if you remember, the books controller receives an author params hash and a books uh, params hash. So we need the first name, last name, and age for the author. So we'll say first name JK, last name Rowling, age 48. Forgive me for any anything that's wrong there. And the book has a title. Let's just call it Harry Potter. So I'll go, I'm going to run this, even though we don't have any expectations, just to see that it passes and it does. So that means that we are calling through to the controller and it's accepting the params. So now we just need to set up the expectation. So I'll say um, expect this uh, active job class to receive uh, perform later with um, and this should be the book names this should be Harry Potter so let's also move this into a book name let with book name there we go And so we're getting an error. Oh yeah, sorry, this should be book. Oh yeah, it looks like we've uncovered a bug here. So we're doing book params with a name, but actually this should be title. So if I change that, there we go. So that's, um, good demonstration of the value of testing. So now when we call the active job class from the controller we are checking that it actually receives the correct params that we're passing in and we're checking that it actually gets called. So as you just saw the test will fail if the params are wrong and it will also fail if the call never gets made. There we go. I'll run the whole test suite just to make sure everything is passing. And there we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about testing active job classes in Rails. And I'll see you in the next one.